just taking it off, okay? She's like, get it off of me, I'm hot. I don't wanna wear this silly thing anymore. Winter is hopefully officially over. I know it's time to take them off. Hi, how are you? Let mama help you, okay? Haven't taken any blankets off. For over a month. So, I have brought my rope halter out and we're gonna do it one at a time and see how it goes. It's a beautiful morning. Oh. <laughs> hey y'all, it is a beautiful morning and hopefully our very last time for using blankets this season. It is time to go out and take blankets off everyone and it will be hopefully, hopefully me putting them in the attic <clears throat> and not bringing them back out until fall slash winter it's gonna be a beautiful day today we have a high of 60 last night it got down to 28 and from here looks like we are in the 60s during the day and the 40s and 50s at night moving forward so the horses are patiently waiting <laughs> they are in the shade which tells me they're like hey mom we're warming up out here it's time I haven't taken any blankets off for over a month. So I have brought my rope halter out and we're gonna do it one at a time and see how it goes. Look how clear our pond water is getting. This is awesome, really awesome. Oh no, I just saw something jump in there. That's not good, that's not awesome. <laughs> I want to talk about getting this stocked eventually. Hey y'all! Well, look at this little pathway. It looks like it was paved just for me. I hear baby goats. I don't see them, but I hear them. Where y'all at? Hmm. I'll go figure that out in a second. Okay. Hi, boys and girls. So, hi, sweetheart. They get jealous of each other is some of the, some of the things that we got to work through. Good morning. Now, I see that Rita has actually got a strap taken off already. I know it's time to take them off. Hi, how are you? Let mama help you, okay? Okay, no halter required with this fella right here. Make sure we got everything unhooked, and we do. All right. Oh boy, that's good, huh? We're gonna hang them up and then come pick them up with the mini truck because they are heavy. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. You were getting sweaty. That's not good. Mama waited too long. I'm sorry. I had a call first thing this morning. You got? Oh, you don't like that? No? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. That's a good boy. I'm gonna get you a brush, okay? Yeah, you're who I'm nervous about. You are. Can mama have that rope? And mama see you. So, hi. Good morning. How are you? You enjoying all the grass? I'm a little bit nervous about all this grass, mostly for him. I'm probably gonna dry lot him a little bit because he hasn't picked up his mouth since he got here. All right, let mama go the other side, okay? Thank you. I'm just taking it off, okay? She's like, get it off of me, I'm hot. I don't wanna wear this silly thing anymore. Winter is hopefully officially over, my love. All right, you ready? Oh, pretty girl. All right. Are you ready, sir? 
Are you ready? So Rita is probably the only one that I will halter to get off of her. All right, let's see what we got here. He's like, he's got his back side up already. No, don't come, don't come up here. Mama's working. Yeah, Mama's working. So he is a little bit of a different, no he doesn't. Rita. All right, you ready? I'm gonna take it off. Oh boy, so handsome. All right, that's three. Now, Rita, I'm going to put the halter on and turn this camera off for a second. All right, we're all unbuckled. Are you ready? It's okay. Well, well. All right, that, friends, is a successful unblanketing. Let Mama untie you. Good girl. Good girl, Rita. Good girl. Okay, so something else that has to be done today. We need to brush everybody out. And as I mentioned, at least he has to be dry lotted. And the way to calm him down about being dry lotted is probably to put him in with him. And the dry lots are up here. So this is going to require some goat movement and ostrich movement and some help from Lester as well. Um, dry lotting a horse who is at risk for metabolic syndrome is critical. Diet is everything to them. And we have an amazing amount of green grass that we're really blessed for. And all that green grass can cause high, it's not so much sugar intake because this is not fresh spring green grass. This is actually leftover rye that's been about six inches tall. But too much of anything is not a good thing. Are you smelling everybody's blankies? That one's yours. That one's Rita's. She's like, can I have it back on? It's a little bit chilly still. It is a little bit chilly still right now, but he was sweating and she was sweating. I hear you, baby. It is possible that I may create a dry lot for all of them. And by doing so, I would just create a fence that literally goes behind that shed and encapsules the loafing shed. And there's not enough grass in there to, by any means to sustain four horses, but it would be good for them to take a break from that. Lester says from the minute they got here, they've been eating like crazy and that can cause some tummy issues in anybody. We are not feeding any grain at this moment because they're just so heavy on what they're eating. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Were you good in the trailer? Did you load good? I didn't get to see a video of Rita loading, but I so want to know how bad that was. Were you a good girl, baby? She's like, I was a good girl, mama. I was such a good girl. Did that feel good to have your blankie off? Oh yeah? Okay. Uh-oh, here comes Rita. We have a lot of work to do and it's going to involve picking out feet every day and grooming every day, but a lot of behavior things as well. Stormy's not done with me yet. Every time I take a step away, she wants me to keep going and she's grooming me too. That's what, that's her thing. That's what, she, oh, it's not. I think it is, but she's also running off Rita. She doesn't want Rita to have the same love that I'm getting. Poor Rita. <sighs> poor, poor Rita. And these boys are like, did she get something that we didn't get? Did she get treats? You don't need any treats, sir. They sure do look beautiful out here. And I know that people passing by are probably taking a double take because we went from longhorns and goats and ostriches to, in my mind, the most beautiful pasture art that there ever was. I mean, look at her up here in the sunlight. To me, they just look stunning on these hills. The only thing that's good about the counteracting of the uh, 
food eating here, like the grass here, is that there are hills to give them a little bit more exercise. And they aren't just hanging out of the barn because we don't, we have not fed them at the barn. So they are moving about and doing well from that standpoint. Be sweet, do not, well, thank you. Oh, Rita, you stole her scratch. You stole her scratch, that's what happened. You stole her scratchy. I love that they wanna come and see me and, and are craving attention. Um, I don't have anything in my hands. Hey, whoa. Are you blocking them from me? Okay. I love everybody's curiosity and desire for attention. <laughs> but we're gonna learn some boundaries, some things to make us be better horses, okay? So that mama doesn't get scared out here in the pasture. Because mama doesn't want to be scared. Mama needs to be confident. And I'm working on that too. Just get a little nervous. I, I think that they love being here too. And I'm excited to see, see how things go. We gotta level out our round pen. So we gotta get some more dirt in to get that leveled out. And uh, like I said, probably create a dry lot so that we can monitor food intake. They can still come out and graze, but it's not gonna be good to graze all the time. The other option is a grazing muzzle, which prevents them from eating so much, but I have a feeling that his attitude will make him so mad about that that he could hurt himself. And I don't wanna see that. I got more research to do. For now, we're okay. It's going to be probably in the next two weeks where the spring grass starts to come up and that's full of sugar. And that's where we're really going to need that dry lot. So we will withhold food for now. Oh, you're so sweet today. Are you excited to be here with me? I'm excited to be here with you. I am. I'm so excited to be here with you. I love you so much. All right. All right, time to go get a brush. Mama will also be out here picking up sticks forever forever and ever we'll be picking up sticks let me go check on baby goats well i see sissy and her babies <laughs> i have not seen tilly and hers though so i'll keep an eye out for them and we'll keep going and i will clean up my mess as well it's gonna be a good day y'all my heart is so so full I love them so much. Uh -huh.